Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MNKD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a few weeks worth of time, it's actually just the past two days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame thing is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis yesterday, so that's where the green and red line annotations are coming from. And after today's price movement, uh, update's probably not necessarily the right word, uh, more so confirmation than anything else. Uh, confirmation of the past couple levels that I talked about uh, in yesterday's video. So the first point of confirmation was right up here at around the $1.88 mark. And I talked about that level being an ideal area of support. I mean, hey, if the price can stay up above there, that would definitely be a, a nice sign of power. And that's exactly what occurred. Now, during the first 30 minutes, the price did actually drop below it, but that didn't last very long. And the price, you know, quickly snapped back up there. And when all the dust had settled, the price is still nicely, you know, up above the $1.88 mark. So that in and of itself is a nice sign of strength. If you've traded long enough, then I'm sure you've seen stocks where, you know, they make a great move. And then when it comes to, you know, let's see if they can maintain some of the gains, they don't and they just crash right back to where they started. That obviously did not happen today. So while I realize, you know, the sideways price action, not nearly as exciting as when the price is exploding upwards, it is a, a good sign of health because it's showing that so far the market and the, you know has digested the move and there's been plenty of people willing to still buy up at those higher levels. Again, I get it. That probably means a little bit more to those people that have traded for a while and have seen those stocks that shoot up and then all of a sudden crash right back down. Um, but you know, like I said, boring action today, sure, because the price went sideways, but still healthy action nonetheless. And then the other point of confirmation, just simply the level of resistance I talked about uh, in yesterday's video, and that's right up there around the dollar ninety seven mark. That level never quite got tested today or anything like that, but that still remains the key area of resistance going forward. So all in all, charts still looking perfectly healthy. Uh, the, the price is consolidating and working on building those higher bases, and that's the name of the game. So let's see how this week continues to play out. Still two days left. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.